Good morning and welcome to Eight Thirsty. Jess is taking it to the court. I am. <laughs> so I am Jess. This is Sam. And if... I don't know what Jess is going to do. Let's Woo! wait and see. <laughs> we have Philippians today. We're up to a brand new book, Sam. A brand new book. And how <laughs> many books have we done now? Romans. First Corinthians. Second Corinthians. Corinthians. Galatians. Ephesians. Ephesians. This is our sixth book. Oh, that's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> so we're pretty excited to bring this to you today. Four chapters. That's all that Philippians has. Is that true? Yeah. So you mean only four days of exercise activity? Is that what we're doing? We are going <laughs> to flip our bodies in four days. <laughs> right. I was going to teach Sam how to do a flip, but you know what the problem is? I don't even know how to do <laughs> one either. So, <laughs> so that's going to be maybe something that we can do another time. But... Um, Anyway, what we've got is some crazy things you may have never seen before. And I wanted to make it a, um, like, just a pull it out of the box situation. Oh, so I'm it's, a lucky, it to you. it's a lucky dip. Sure is. This is great. What comes out first? Which would you like to choose, Sam? It's a basket of fun. This looks the safest. Okay, we'll choose the safest for today. Chapter one, we have a jury disc. Have you ladies ever heard of a jury disc? It is like a steering wheel, except... Oh, is it for when you have hemorrhoids? Uh, it, would, it would be helpful to <laughs> sit on when you have hemorrhoids. It could be a frisbee, but it probably wouldn't oh. last long with your dog. Okay. Uh, it has air in it. So you'll often see um, jury discs I want to do at, this physios, as well. at physios or <laughs> chiros. Um, oh, hi! <laughs> 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 There's, uh, there's many therapeutic things you can do with a jury disc, but we're going to work on Sam's balance. Oh. So Sam, come on over here. Okay. Um, so you'll know with a jury disc, it's not, it's not, it's not balanced. You've got to create the balance from your core. You're very optimistic. So okay. we just pop it down and Sam, Sam steps on it with two well, feet. Am I going to be popping it? No. I weigh a lot. It's okay. Two I'm feet. afraid. Okay. Oh dear. So what we do is we just find the balance. Sam, have you found the balance? Well, I'm here. You're doing great. Now, this is where it's going to get tricky. I think you're gonna I'm going to get Sam to close her eyes. My okay. hand's here if you need me. Okay, all right. Oh dear. This is, okay. Tell the audience out there what it's doing for you. Well, it's making me very shaky. Close your eyes. I can't. It's why can't I do that? Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> What's working? What can you feel working, Sam? <laughs> my uh, sense of fear. Yeah. <laughs> my adrenaline. Okay. Why can't I do that? Okay, you may step off. <laughs> what happens when we close our eyes is we lose that sense of balance very, very quickly. The older we get, the oh, more. I see. <laughs> the, the easier it, it is for us to lose our balance and our sense of agility and our stability. Right. And often, not always, but often our eyesight will start to deteriorate as we're older as well. This is not a great premonition. Is it a premonition? A it's prophecy? called. <laughs> it's actually called. We've got a vile body, and we're oh. in a fallen world, and so sadly, stuff happens where you we start to You probably wanted me to decompose. fall over. That would have been I a would, great illustration. <laughs> I would not have liked that at all. <laughs> I like my clients to thrive. <laughs> so this is just something that you can use a jury disc, even just for little things at home. You can put it under your bottom when you're sitting on a chair, and then just work out where your balance is take one leg slightly off the ground so you just got you know a little bent knee right and you can close your eyes there's many different things you can use a jury disc for it's a handy thing to have so that's day one we're up to philippians one we're going to get our bibles now guys all right oh, oh. we're coming to you from a dirt oh, mound oh, oh. <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah, yeah. Do you need a blanket? No, no, no. I'm good. I'm good. Are you good? I'm great. <laughs> we hope every time we read the Bible with you guys that this is the actual focus, but we like to share a bit of fun with you and 
learn new skills ourselves. Yeah. Thank you, Jess. Thank you. <laughs> okay, let's go oh, Philippians hang on. chapter one. Philippians. Do you want to start? Yes. Paul and Timotheus, the servants of Jesus Christ, to all the saints in Christ Jesus, which are in Philippi, with the bishops and deacons. Grace be unto you and peace from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. I thank my God upon every remembrance of you. Always in every prayer of mine for you all, making request with joy. For your fellowship in the gospel from the first day until now. Being confident of this very thing, that he which hath begun a good work in you will perform it until the day of Jesus Christ. <laughs> Even as it is meet for me to think this of you all, because I have you in my heart inasmuch as both in bo my bonds and in the defense and confirmation of the gospel, ye all are partakers of my grace. For God is my record, how greatly I long after you all in the bowels of Jesus Christ. And this I pray that your love may abound yet more and more in knowledge and in all judgment. That ye may approve things that are excellent, mm. that ye may be sincere and without offense till the day of Christ. Being filled with the fruits of righteousness, which are by Jesus Christ unto the glory and praise of God. But I would ye should understand, brethren, that the things which happened unto me have fallen out rather unto the furtherance of the gospel. So that my bonds in Christ are manifest in all the palace and in all other places. And many of the brethren in the Lord, waxing confident by my bonds, are much more bold to speak the word without fear. Some indeed preach Christ, even of envy and strife, and some also of goodwill. The one preach Christ of contention, not sincerely, supposing to add affliction to my bonds. But the other of love, knowing that I am set for the defence of the gospel. What then? Notwithstanding every way, whether Whoa! in pretense or truth, <laughs> Christ is preached, and I therein do rejoice, yea, and will rejoice. For I know that this shall turn to my salvation through your prayer and the supply of the Spirit of Jesus Christ. According to my earnest expectation and my hope, that in nothing I shall be ashamed, but that with all boldness, as always, so now also Christ shall be magnified in my body, whether it be by life or by death. For to me to live is Christ and to die is gain. <laughs> but if I live in the flesh, this is the fruit of my labor. Yet what I shall choose, I wot not. <laughs> for I am in a strait betwixt <laughs> two. Sliding down a mountain. <laughs> having a desire to depart <clears throat> and to be with Christ, which is far better. Mm. Nevertheless, to abide in the flesh is more needful for you. And having this confidence, I know that I shall abide and continue with you all for your furtherance and joy of faith. That your rejoicing may be more abundant in Jesus Christ for me by my coming to you again. Only let your conversation be as it is, become, becometh the gospel of Christ, that whether I come and see you or else be absent, I may hear of your affairs that you stand fast in one spirit, with one mind, striving together for the faith of the gospel. And Are you in okay? nothing, <laughs> nothing, and in nothing, terrified by your adversaries, which is to them an evident token of perdition, but to you of salvation and that of God. For unto you it is given in the behalf of Christ, not only to believe on him, but also to suffer for his sake having the same conflict which ye saw in me, and now here to be in me. Wow, what a heartfelt <laughs> chapter. Should we move this yeah. just a little bit? Let's just go a little bit more comfortable. <laughs> I than... wanted a cute cushion. <laughs> that cute cushion back. <laughs> all right, here we are on a flat uh, piece of land. No, it's all right, I'm going to hold it. Too late, Too late she cried. <laughs> Oh, sorry. It's so real life here. All right, here we go. So, wow, he's a prisoner. Great. Old Paul, still a prisoner. Wow. Um, how about that line though, to die is gain. Oh, wow. What a great thought for life. Yes. Now, where was that again? Let's find it. Oh, here we go, 21. For to me to live is Christ. And to die is gain. I love that because mm. 
you know, that is a great way to live your life, to just know you're secure in your salvation. Yes. Everything, everything that happens is either going to strengthen our faith, mm -hmm. which is what Paul's talking about. True. Or we get an upgrade to heaven. Yeah, which is better. To Al die is gain. Although, you know, as long as you're doing the right <clears throat> thing to die. You know. One minute. <laughs> so, you know, when you find oh. out that Jesus Christ is who he said he is and you live for him and that's who your daily, that's your mission, that's your ambassadorship to live and fly the flag for Jesus. Yep. You do that and you come against, I mean, everybody's going to come against something different. Obviously, Paul was the first of the body of Christ. He was, he was charging forth with a new message. There was opposition on every side. And people were strengthened by his imprisonment. Yeah. He was strengthened because he's thinking, oh, well, what else are you going to do? <laughs> what else are you going to do? I'm either in prison, I can still get the word out. And he My did. My people are out there. That's They're inspired right. by him being in there. They don't want to make his imprisonment a waste. Do you feel, Sam, just recently, especially this year, that in a way this is you, if you have a bad day, right and there's stuff that's just coming against you that you think of your brothers and sisters in Christ and you go I've got to keep going I've got to keep praying for them I know they're praying for me you're gonna do that well well I can do better at that I can do better at that I should I should do that because that's what a body is like working together so Paul is part of the body the first part of the body not the head yeah obviously Christ is the head and he's in prison going well <laughs> I'm just gonna do what I can do and that's get the Word of God yeah, out yeah, there yeah he's gonna pray for people it's but very inspiring he was getting prayed for yeah by those that were out there as well yeah that's so encouraging um, and it is it is you're right like when you know we all have bad days we all have certain times of the month this is it's a, a thing this is a video for women so I can say that you sure can. Um, that where you're just like, I just cannot get out of bed today. Yeah. I just want chocolate. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, that's but it. there are there are times when we might have a you know, a church or a Bible study plan for that day. Yeah. And you just get yourself up. You just get yeah. get on with it and you yeah. do what you need to do because you don't know and you know, someone when I was first saved used to used to say, You don't know what is on the other side of your obedience. Yes. I do remember that person saying that. I, I mean, We're praying for you, by the way. You know who you are. <laughs> it's a great line. Like <laughs> it, it is, is really it makes a great sense. line. You don't know what God's plans are for True. you for that day. Like yep. we don't know um, what the Holy Spirit wants to do in us. That's right. So, you know, you've got to be up and about. Otherwise, yeah. you can do nothing. That's right. And be okay with knowing that you might not have to be your peppy self. You can. Yeah. You can just. Just be a bit more low-key okay. that day, but turn up. That is okay. Yeah. And and when you're with real people, you don't yeah. have to put on those masks of That's right. permanent happiness. No. It gives you <laughs> because a Because we know we have ups and downs. We're only human people. We're not right. indestructible just because we're Christian. Yeah, that's a great point. But um, if I live in the flesh, this is the fruit of my labor. Yet what I shall choose, I watch not. He loves to say that. Watch What's not, not a lot. <laughs> um, Betwixt. <laughs> so I just used to think that was a chocolate bar. Oh, betwixt. <laughs> I never. I was never a fan of the twix. No. But what does that mean? For I am in a strait betwixt two. Yeah. Having a desire to depart and to be with Christ, oh yeah, which is far better. Nevertheless, to abide in the flesh is more needful for you. This is actually something that Liz and I were talking about <laughs> yesterday. Liz, do you remember? We were talking about, okay, we're not raptured yet. You can get all upset about like, oh, I'm not with the Lord yet. Bummer. You know, no, we get another day yeah. to represent Jesus. Yeah. And and what's on the other side of that obedience? Yeah, yeah. We don't know. No. It doesn't so, matter. We don't have to know. We can look forward and we should because Christ says, look for my appearing. Right? Yeah, yeah. But it's okay to be in a moment and realize I'm here. I'm going to make the most of this moment. All the glory to him. Of course. I cut you off. And the, No, I was just going to say the, the geography of being in a strait. A strait oh, is yes. like a kind of stillish patch of ocean 
um, between two bits of land. Right. So that's what betwixt means. Okay. I know because I came out of a kayak. In, a, in the Straits of Malacca. <laughs> <laughs> this sounds like a song, actually. No, it wasn't a song. It was a very Came terrible time. Streets. I was betwixt um, I was Malacca. betwixt two bits of land what and surrounded Malacca? by jellyfish with a kayak going down. Anyway, this was overseas. That's not, that's not Paul. <laughs> <laughs> he was betwixt in the strait, but yeah. yeah, between two things. Yeah, and he's in prison. Yeah. Mm. Um, so, Philippi, this is what I know about Tell Philippi. Me. So it was surrounded by gold and silver mines. So there were very prosperous people there. Right. But it was also a town full of ex-military men. So people that had right. come out of the Roman armies right. were going there to retire and buy up all the land. So that's really? what was happening there. It's now near the Greek city of Kavala. Kavala. Um, Nero is still reigning. It was like a mini Rome. Right. In Greece. They spoke Latin there. Um, so it was a prosperous place, but there was lots of... I guess you can think of it like a military town. Like there are military towns around Australia. Yeah. Um, I can't think of any. Like where there are military bases yes. and then the people end up staying there and living there. Yeah. So it's a different kind of person. Yeah. They're a bit tougher. Wow. A bit more regimented. So that's where he's in Well, that's where, where he's writing to. Right, yes. It's not actually sure where he's imprisoned. People say maybe Rome, maybe Ephesus, maybe Corinth. Right. Not Australia. Not Australia. Mm. What else can we learn from this? <sighs> I just think to die, yeah, to die is gain is the is the most powerful message for me. Yeah. It's a great reminder every single day. I think about that every day while we're reading Philippians and you're exercising me. <laughs> <laughs> to die is gain. <laughs> How about in verse 8, for God is my record, how greatly I long after you all in the bowels of Jesus yeah, wow. Christ. That's actually a super duper committed cry of, I wish I was with you. Yeah. Did your bowels feel it on the jury disc? <laughs> right in your ear. didn't quite get in my bowels. <laughs> but I was thinking about my bowels because... Yeah. <laughs> You know, because I'm a naturopath and I yeah. was thinking about, you know, this would be comfortable for someone who has hemorrhoids or... Yeah. Anyway, yeah. let's move on from that. <laughs> um, I this... dislike how often they use the word bowels. <laughs> Especially, it's almost like a joyful I know. sorrow. It's like, in like... Your, I think it means in your guts. Yeah, like, right in the guts. Gets you right in the guts. Well, it's like when I, when I miss people and I send them a text message and I go when I see you I'm gonna squeeze your guts out <laughs> <laughs> because you exactly. love them and you miss them so much so I wonder if you swap the word guts for bowels would they I still get it I don't want to do that <laughs> because my I'm parents squeeze your bowels out my beautiful parents are both well they're retired now oh. but they were psych nurses <laughs> and so they would use all the medical like, language yeah, yeah which is why I don't do that yeah and you love it I do love it and I just don't love it so I use things like guts and yeah. <laughs> Other names that I make up. <laughs> but my children still know what I mean. So Thank that's you. the main thing, right? Um, I'll tell them the right words. <laughs> I bet. <laughs> There's so much in here. I was, there was something I wanted to point out. Um, oh, but I don't know where it's gone. I've gone from it. Um, oh, I just love, just how he's just talking about how awesome it is to just get Christ preached, you know, for, you know, in 18. What yeah. then? Notwithstanding every way, whether in pretense or in truth, Christ is preached and I therein do rejoice, yea, and will rejoice. So, you know, um, for instance, there's many denominations out there, which we now call divisions mm. because we see that I'm of Apollos, and I'm of Paul, and I'm of Cephas. You know, that's not God's heart. He wants you to be all under Christ. That's why we're not under a denomination. Mm. We see it as a division. But um, no matter what, if you're pre preaching Jesus Christ as God, and that to be saved, you need to believe that you're a sinner, and that you need a Savior, and that He died for you, and that payment was enough to wash those sins away, that you're sealed now with the Holy Spirit of redemption yeah. um, till the day of redemption. Mm -hmm. And then when God the Father looks at you, he sees Christ in you, mm. the hope of glory. Um, that, that is the main thing. 
So we, we, we may see in churches that they focus on different things. If you're preaching the gospel, that's the main important thing. But to grow and get off the milk, that's what Paul desires, that they grow. Yeah, yeah. So in verse 6, being confident of this very thing, that he which hath begun a good yes. work in you will perform it until the day of Jesus Christ. What is the day of Jesus Christ? <laughs> Do you know the answer? Well, um, there's de di different days, mm -hmm. days of the Lord. Mm. There's, there's many different days, but I believe because it's talking about the body of Christ, yeah, yeah. that this is talking about us the being rapture. raptured. <laughs> yes. Yeah, <that> <laughs> Yes, <laughs> I asked Darren about that last night and he yes. said the same. Yeah, so we'll go yeah. with that unless someone wants to correct us. Yeah, being confident of this very thing, that, mm. that he which hath begun a good work in you will perform it until the day of Jesus Christ. Yep. Um, because you are sealed, but you're not there yet. What is the rapture? Are there people out there who might not know what that is? Jess? Well, my beautiful daughter Lachey calls it the great suck up. Which, um, you know, she started using that from a very young age because she saw a vacuum and thought, that's like the rapture. But it's not called the rapture. That's a Latin word. Yeah. In the Bible, it's it's talking about being caught up yep. to meet the Lord in the air. So um, in Paul's epistles, it talks about Jesus Christ meeting the body of Christ in the air. But the, the dead in Christ shall rise first. Yep. And, that, and we that remain and, and are alive will meet him in the air. So who are um, those people that go up? Is it everyone on earth? No, that's... That's not what's going to happen because it's only those that are sealed by the Spirit. Yep. Those that have made a choice by faith yep. to believe in Jesus Christ as their Lord. So if that's not you today, it's so easy. All you need to do is just let go of yourself <laughs> and hang on to Jesus Christ and believe what we talked about before. It's quite quick. It's amazing. And instantly yep. you're baptized. What happens to the people who remain? They have to go through the tribulation. It was prophesied in Daniel. It's called... Um, there's lots of different names, mm. but basically it's known as the tribulation. So seven years of trial and where you wish you were dead. Yeah. It's, it's read about it. It's in revelation. It's there's, not, you know, storing up water and canned goods isn't going to be sufficient. It's not going to cut to it. To get you through that safely. It doesn't even matter yep. if you have machine guns and you yep. have tanks and antibiotics and no. ivermectin or whatever it else people matter. are storing up. That's yeah. right. You need Jesus Christ to be able to get out of here. Yep. And so all it takes is faith. Faith in faith is some, putting your trust in something you can't see. I can't see God, but I can see the evidence of him. Yeah. And I've got his word here. So if you read this word and you believe it, and there's a lot to learn, but day by day, just where you're at, starts with faith, hey? Yeah. Prayer is how we speak to God. Reading his word is how he speaks to us, and he does. He does. And our minds get renewed every day every single day just like our bodies get renewed Whoa! if we're using a duradisc every day that's your new best friend sam your <laughs> bowels will love you <laughs> that's great so tomorrow we're talking uh, about philippians chapter two great. we're going to read it we're going to eat it up and we're going to talk about it but we'll also have something special to try on sam How as fun. well from our special basket <laughs> From the special basket. I got so excited about the special basket, I pressed stop. <laughs> so we'll... Her bowels were so excited. Oh, no. <laughs> no. Um, yes. So tomorrow. We will see you tomorrow. <laughs> hey, so Tessie. for now, thanks for joining us at 8.30. We'll see you tomorrow for Ephesians. Not Ephesians. No. Philippians. Chapter, chapter 2. two. Bye. Bye.